Hi my beautiful family and welcome to this video. Well, it's been a while, I think over two weeks since I filmed anything and the last video you saw on my channel is actually a pre-filmed video for a couple of weeks ago, but I had I just had to take a um, moment away from social media and YouTube and everything. I felt very stressed and I had very hard time sleeping. I wasn't feeling very well. So I said to myself, I need some a break. And I took a break and I feel amazing. <laughs> but I'm here today to play with some new makeup. I have here the lip gloss from Pat McGrath. I also have the Kaleidos, Kaleidos, I'm going to butcher the name, the Escape Pod palette. I also have the CoverGirl foundation that my friend Valerie sent to me. I also have a lip new sponges to try out and a couple of new and old products. So let's just start with the makeup look and see where we are going to end up with. Continue watching. Okay guys, I feel like I forgot how to film. <laughs> there are a couple of products that have been out there for a while that I haven't tried out that I really want to try. But today I'm going to go in with Joa's Pore the Activator Pore Minimalism Mattifying Primer. I really like this. This is uh, from my friend Valerie. She sent to me in a box swap. I'm going to try to remember to put a card up here so you can watch that. But me and Valerie send each other products two times a year. In a box swap for her birthday and my birthday. It's just product that we want, but also product that we want each other to try out. I also am preparing to do a video where I try also new, well not new, review some eyeshadow primers that will come on my channel soon. I already have an older version of that video up, but I'm preparing any other one. I'm going to go in with eyeshadow primer too. This is my Elf, uh, wait, Elf, no, Wet and Wild, my favorite eyeshadow primer, one of my favorite eyeshadow primers. And um, I'm going to go with that. My last video, I tried a couple of new Catrice products. Some of them worked out for me, some of them, uh, the, some of them did not. I forgot how to speak. And uh, that was a very interesting video. I don't know if you've seen that. If you haven't, I'll link it up here so you can watch that. But interesting video, really interesting. I was, I thought that I would be more satisfied with the product than I was. Unfortunately, not all of them worked out. But one that I did like, it's this uh, powder. And I'm going to use just a little bit on my eyes to set my eyeshadow. The packaging is, I mean, nothing. It's just cardboard, feels very cheap, but the product is not bad. I'm going to go in and use my primer for under eyes, my Becca under eye primer, which I really love. While this sits, I am, I already wet this sponge. This is the Pow Pow. Wonder blenders, you get six. There is a big value six pack. I bought this one. This is how much it actually gets big when you wear it. It says, um, the Wonder Blender is latex free, high definition cosmetic sponge designed for easy applying and blending. Use it with primers, foundation, powders, cream blushes, and other complexion products. Unique design is great for large areas of the face and hard to. Um, hard to reach areas. What I like about this brand or these sponges is that part of pro uh, proceeds will go towards protecting animals against abuse, it says on the packaging, and it's something I really, really like. This is made in US, and um, I'm going to link the website down below where I purchased it. I saw someone, I forgot her name, talking about this on the website, and it took it around a month, no, I'm lying, around three weeks to arrive to Sweden. And I had to pay some taxes, so it was a little bit higher in price, double, almost double price than if you live in the US to order uh, to Sweden, but it wasn't expensive. I think I paid like nine, $9 for this value, eight, nine dollars, and I paid that much for taxes when it arrived here. I'm going to use the sponge for that. But before we go, I want to talk about this brand. Now this is the Kaleidos, I think I pronounced the right. This is 
a palette that actually arrived, I think it was last year, and I didn't bought it then, but one of the Swedish influencers, she released, um, I just forgot her name, sorry guys, I'm not really pre very prepared for this video, but she released uh, her collab palette with this brand, which that palette is so stunning. And I wanted to buy it, but it was sold out. It, I was a little bit too late, so it was sold out. And then I watched her video talking about that palette, and I fell in love with the eyeshadows. I'm going to link her video down. But she said it's going to be restocked once. And then I thought, but if I buy it, and I won't be able to use it on my channel because it's not going to be restocked again. So I didn't order it, and that was the only reason, that, because I couldn't use it on my channel anymore. Um, but I got this. And this is so spring. The packaging is stunning. And look at this palette. Let me just show you. This is everything. And I realized while I was off these couple of weeks from away from YouTube is that I actually like palettes where there is a darker eyeshadow. I need a palette to have a darker eyeshadow, something like this. Now I would uh, because I want always to make, I don't know, it just speaks to me. So this is such a beautiful palette, so much, screams so much spring to me, unbelievable. What I think, and I like the packaging though, I don't know, it, it's kind of bulky, I would prefer if it was flatter or, I mean, it's a nice mirror, there is like a hot plastic on top. I mean, it's very nice packaging, but it's not easy, it's, Easiest to store, but I love, love the texture and the, how it looks. It's amazing. So I'm going to use this today. Let's start it. So it's still av it's available on their website if you want to purchase it. I think it's a stunning palette. I haven't tried their products before, so I'm kind of curious. We are going to go in with, uh, I don't know which one I want. I want something purple. Let's go purple and pink, won't we? I'm going to go in with this, it's kind of hard to hold, this shade here, and I'm not going even to try to pronounce it, because I'm going to butcher the name there immediately. So, I've heard so many good things about this brand, but I have never, I, I never had the chance to try their products, so I'm kind of curious. This is a nice pigmented color, I'm kind of going with a light hand because I don't really know their texture but this is blending very nice and purple is one of the hardest shades to create that's blendable and seamless so this eyeshadow is stunning it, it wasn't hard to blend at all so I'm going to go in and take another brush, a smaller brush, and I want to go in with the, I do want to go in with this bright flamingo shade and place that right into the crease. So I'm blending this right into the crease and I'm just playing with colors because, I don't know, I just feel like it. And it's kind of nice. So I'm going to use another brush and I'm going to go in this bright pink here. I like that. It's kind of a, like a mishmash of colors right now, but I don't mind. I am going to go in and uh, go in with this that I had the bright flamingo shade and I want to go in, in in deep up this outer corner go in and mix this together with a purple one just to, no let's just first go with this brown oh that's stunning I feel like I need darker shades in palettes to actually speak to me because I've seen on Treadmood a little bit the new releases and there are some beautiful bright palettes but none of them really speaks to me none of them screams by me, you know, and I've been thinking about why Because I do like the colors. Why don't I want to purchase it? And then I saw another palette 
I think Melt Cosmetic is releasing a uh, like gray tone and that one spoke to me and then I realized dark shades I need I like bright colors I like bright colors I love it but I need a palette to have a dark shade in it to actually calling my name <laughs> I like trying out you know products has been been out for a while still available I'm just taking this purple again and blending with a light hand um, like I said I like trying out palettes as be that has been out for a while and still available and still you know worth buying because we all are looking for something that really works and if as a palette has been out for a year maybe something like that and people really like it and still use it it's definitely something you need to buy okay so I actually don't know what shade I want to use I do want to use this one it looks blue but on the camera but in here it looks more purple but I am going to go in with this and that one or no let's go in with this and this one that's what we are going to do. But before we do that, I do want to... Do I want to cut crease? It's been a while. No. Well, no. First I thought yes, but no. I'm not going to do that. I'm too lazy for that. Let's just be honest. Too lazy for that. So I'm going to take a palette that I know works with shimmery shades and it's Linda Halberg palette palette no brush and I'm going to go in this cosmic cabaret cabaret this shade here try it with a brush I don't know if the brush really picks up any product oh yes it does <laughs> definitely this is stunning there is some fallout when I use this with a brush but oh my god look at this pigment and this is with a dry brush oh my god guys this is stunning oh, i love this i love purple eyeshadows it's my favorite eyeshadow looks maybe you can hear my kids playing i mean they've been quiet for a long time but since i but when i said i'm going to film guys can you be nice and keep it quiet then they start screaming and running around in the house and I feel like my kids are not the only one you know it's the same thing if they just sit and watch a movie or play games and I do nothing and then I start talking to someone on the phone then they need to ask for something and they can't wait until I'm finished that's kids. Okay guys, I'm loving this palette and I'm loving the shades. I'm just going to use my finger because I do prefer applying these shades with fingers and I know I said I'm not going to use but I'm curious to see how it's going to go on the eyelid with the finger. Oh, oh, oh my god, look at that. Even more pigmented. Is that even possible? You know, I... I'm definitely going to see if they have other palettes available because this must be best quality I've ever tried. I'm going to go in with this Amaretto, Amaretto, this shade here with the dry brush. I just used the same brush, I just swapped off the excess from the purple shade. Let's see how this one is applying with the brush. My god, this is stunning. I love it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a beautiful pink shade and I'm going to swatch it just to show you. It's blending very nice with this purple shade here. But I am going to swatch both of them so you can see the difference between these shades. See? I'm going to swatch them here. See, they are different but it looks much better on the eyes when it, than it does swatching. We're going to finish this makeup look later, but I am going to go in, there is some fallout, so I'm going to go and wipe this fallout. I'm going to, I already primed my eyes, 
prime eyes, prime my skin. So I am going to go with the foundation. For the foundation, I am going to go in with this CoverGirl. Uh, this is the Troubled Matte, Troubled Matte Made. Now, um, this is not my shade. I think it's a little bit too dark, but I'm not going anywhere. And I'm having other light concealers that I can use to actually brighten it up. So I'm going to go in with this shade. This is the L30. So I don't know if you can see, but this is lighter than my body. I have like three different tones. I'm not matching my neck or my um, this part of my foundation with this part of my face because this is too bright. So I'm always going for a little bit darker. So let's go in with the sponge and we're going to try this sponge too. Okay, so. Mm, definitely darker, but we'll make it work. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, I'm loving the sponge. Sponge is so soft. Feels so nice. Oh, this is too yellow. No, she sent to me this shade so I can mix with other foundation because she knows I have plenty of foundations that I can actually use and play with. But it does have a strong scent. Let's bring it down to the neck. I mean, it's blending very fast and I'm using a lot because I just need more coverage. I feel for going for full coverage today because we have full beautiful eye makeup look. So I do like how it goes on the skin, how it's blending. It's definitely medium coverage. Sorry guys, I had to do a break because my card was full and I had to upload the pictures or the film on my cat on my computer but I've been having in this on for 40 minutes and I really like the foundation how actually it feels it feels like I don't have it on my skin but let's just continue with the makeup look I am going to use the NARS this is the soft matte complete complete concealer in vanilla and I've been having this concealer in um, like a tube version and I loved it that was one of my best concealers ever uh, and I tried this once I want a line and I've been really really liking this so I am going to you know concentrate just a little bit of this under my eyes because I feel like I really have dark circles lately even if it doesn't show like that on the camera and then I'm going to go in a little bit with a lighter con lighter concealer just to light up the foundation a little bit though I'm not mad about the color it's definitely wrong but it uh, could be worse so it's nothing that I can't make work I just love this concealer look how flawless that is I'm going to go in with the elf concealer and just put a dot here and I am going to write up the foundation a little bit with this concealer. I loved I love the sponge. It almost dried the sponge. It's almost dry since I started filming because I took this kind of break, but I like it. I love the sponge still it's working it's still soft and it's working really nice so what I am going to do is actually use before we set everything cream bronzer and I'm being into cream products lately I don't usually like too much cream products because my skin is like it is it's oily so it doesn't really last long but I'm to go in with me my Charlotte oh, it smells wonderful and just use it as my bronzer today. Just love this cream bronzer. I want to try the Tarte Cosmetics new one, cream bronzer. 
but it's not available here in Sweden and I know I can order it from their website though it's out of stock right now but me ordering from the website means I'm going to pay more for the shipping and taxes. I'm going to go in with Shiseido powder just because I want to hit the pan in this one. I love this powder though. So I'm not going to go crazy with the powder though I'm going to go use a fluffy brush that's powder everywhere. Just set the rest of the makeup and then I am going to go in and use just a little bit of bronzer to bronze up. You set my bronzer. I'm going to go with Essence. I'm using high end with drugstore. This is a mix. I'm just going to set a little bit of this bronzer. This is very light, so it's not actually giving me more color. But I love how it smells. This is turning to be very nice. Though I already set my face, but I didn't use blush. Uh, I'm going to go in with, go into this Natasha Denona's blush palette that I'm obsessed with. And I'm going to go in and use this kind of brush and go into this blush back on my hand and this can go on uh, powder on top of the powder under the powder doesn't matter I'm going to go in and blend it I'm going to use the sponge to blend it more we are going to use the soap brows and I'm going to wet this, go in with my face mist from Goodie Box. I just sprayed at myself. Wasn't supposed to happen. That wasn't supposed to happen. Stupid me. Oh, a little bit too much of the product, but going to make this I don't know why but I like going in and uh, do my eyebrows almost last I know some people like going first I don't like going in first because I always get my foundation on my eyebrows and then it looks it looks mess messy and we are going to go in with the powder yeah, I'm going to use my old, old Anastasia Berry Hills powder. I think that looks good. We are just going to brush it a little bit more. Okay, they are not twins, not even sisters, but it still looks good, I think. I'm going to go in with a liquid highlighter and I'm going to go in and use this makeup by Mecca. I think I used it one before in a video and I don't remember if I like it or not. I'm not really sure, but this is in shade Luna and I'm going to use it with the sponge. I don't know if I like this one or not. I mean, I'm not mad at it though. I don't know if it's ruining my foundation under it. No, it's not actually. Mm. Oh, I like it. I don't know if I liked it before, but I do like it now. Loving the makeup look though. Okay, so what we need to do is actually finish the makeup look. So I am going to go in with this palette again and I am going to take this purple shade that we had or are we going to use the purple what if we use the other shades I want to go in with this shade carnival let's spice it up and make it more crazy looking just to try more shades I love this kind of orange it's blending nice it's definitely pigmented. I'm really liking this shade under the eyes. Do like it a lot. 
though I am going to go in and uh, try to create like a wing with a brush and this shade like an eyeliner but not a wing wing you know just dip up the corner and then go under the low lash line just to dip it up a little bit not the whole way half of the way see okay then i'm going to go in and try to use this uh, star starlight sonota i think it's called this shade here to you know make it a little bit brighter here oh it doesn't want to pick up the product this brush doesn't really want to pick up the product there you go and I'm going to go in with this Lofi Lofi shade here under my eyebrow to blend it with that sparkly one that we used before I'm loving the makeup look though, really liking the makeup look. I'm going to go and use some mascara and I'll use my um, Sky High mascara and some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am going to line my lips with the Rebecca Stella's lip liner in shade 4. So. I was trying to sharpen it and my sharpener yeah, broke, so... Okay, that's a nice shade. I think I should probably go with a deeper shade, just because I'm going to go in... This is number six. I'm going to go in with a deeper lipstick, so let's just... Let's go in with the lipstick. Today I'm going to use... I'm going to go use the Healthier Lip velvet finish from physicians formula and this one is in shade all natural nude i think i have this one in another or well, maybe i should not use this one let's just see we should just I, i'm gonna see if this is um should we use this one oh, let's go in with this one we're going to use the lip gloss too Oh, this is nice. That's a nice shade. That's a nice shade. And I'm going to go in with and try to, you know, just like try to remove a little bit of it because we are going to go in with the lip gloss and we are going to go and use the Pat McGrath Love and Lust Gloss Duo. I didn't even open it, so... Where do I open it? There is... We need a scissors. And I'm going to have this glitter everywhere. It's kind of cute packaging though. We have two shades of the lip glosses. So cute! I love ordering from... Um, wait, there's some glitter stuck. Oh, okay, this is everywhere. There are two glosses, one it's in deeper shade and one it's more lighter. Let's see this, such a cute applicator. This one is a little bit richer, red-brown shade. And then we have the nude one, or the lighter one. I don't know if there is any color, I don't know, actually. That's very similar to it, so let's go with this lighter shade. The applicator is so small. It's very cute, but it's very small. Okay. And it has a nice scent. Like vanilla. This is very small <laughs> in my hand, but... Kind of so short that it's kind of hard to apply, you know? Oh, 
I'm loving the applicate it, though it's a little bit too short because I'm touching my under lip when I'm applying the lip gloss on my top lip. But it's so comfortable. Okay, you see, I'm getting lip lip gloss on my night nail. This is so comfortable on the lips. It's not tacky at all. I'm loving this lip gloss. Really loving the lip gloss. It smells really good. Okay, guys, this is the final look. Let's remove this. I am going to put my hair up because I didn't fix it. So let's just have a, like a messy bun or something. Okay, but this is the final look. I'm really liking how this eyeshadow turned out. I'm loving the purple. I love purple on my brown eyes. I really... There is the sun. Mm. Okay, son, don't play with me right now. Okay, the foundation is wrong shade, but I'm really liking how it feels on my skin. I really feel how it feels very light. It's matte. It's what I like, though I do feel like this highlighter gives it a nice glow. So, the foundation I really enjoy. I forgot to set my face. Let's go in with Unsilky that my friend Valerie gave to me. I'm loving this setting spray. So, okay, foundation I do like. I really like this foundation. Uh, I don't know if it's available here in Sweden. So maybe I will take it out to maybe pick a lighter shade. But I don't think I'm going to need it because it's getting, to, it's getting warm here and maybe I will get more tan and then I can definitely use it like it is. But I'm not having problem to mix it with lighter shades because I do have lighter foundations. I'm loving the concealer, but that I know the lip glosses are so damn cute, really, really cute. I also really love, oh, I'm dropping everything today. I'm loving the palette. This is definitely one of my new favorites. Such a cute palette, speaks to me, spring, fun, uh, exciting, playful so I'm definitely going to create more makeup look with this palette but I wanted to create my favorite shade and that's purple loving the purple I love the packaging though it, it's not the easiest palette to hold and it's a little bit bulky but I think the packaging is still cute I love the formula I'm going to link everything down below but so far so good I'm really liking all of the products that I've used today old and new the cream bronzer like always love it I also love the blush I love everything that I tried today that I reused forgot to use in a couple of months but you know just start using again loving the new eyeshadow uh, the eyelashes I have on today is actually what I got from my friend Valerie this is Adele Wispies um, I had to show them because they're a little bit too long, but I'm loving them. They are very comfortable and not really easy to wear when I have glasses on because my glasses come very close to my eye, but it's still a very nice eyelash. I like it. So that's the final look. I like everything. I'm very excited about this makeup. Guys, thank you so much for staying with me and coming back to watch my videos. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button and notification bell if you have didn't have time or forgot to do that. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.